Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Potion Craft with our little journey from home brewer to master alchemist. We are continuing right where we left off, which was uh, in bed. Ooh, a big fresh water map instead of oil map where we have indeed traveled uh, to a few places already and encountered the barrier which was a lot closer than anticipated. But um, it is a, what I would call a medium-sized map with all the special effects that are hard to get on the water map, straight and nice and very attainable. What we did do last time around was complete a chapter. We are now in number seven and only a few things on the list for us to do. Spend some money, spend some money and make something. Okay, sounds fair enough. And Citrinitas. Ooh. Oh, sh yeah. Look at that. That has changed a lot. All right. There are a lot of effects in here that are quite off. Um, and very much more thematic than before. So lots of enlargement in this one. And we have frost protection. We have fire protection. And we have lots of light, which makes sense. It's thematic to this one. It's cool. All right. And that tells me that we should be venturing towards... Um, could it be this one? I mean, that is the first straight one that is in the general direction of enlargement, which was on the water map. If we compare, it is over to... Where is it now? Oh. Do I misremember it? Ah, there's Curse. Okay, but where, where is it? Oh, there, no, that was correct. Pretty much correct. Slightly up there. It very much could be the Frost Protection one, though. And this one slightly further off. Let's go and investigate. That is something that we do need to find out. Do we see any other line up here? here? There. There's the other one. That could be Enlargement, and this would be Frost Protection. That's my guess. Let's go bananas and try to get there. Uh, that was a little too much. Don't, don't be overzealous, Kirob, with your grinding of hairy bananas. Maybe something like this and then throw in another banana. Is this working? Let's see. Ooh, mm, kinda. I guess. Ah, if I just had gotten a little bit further on with the, uh, th this one, the lava roots that I threw in there. And I could have used the mushroom. That would have been a perfect candidate for this one, just to get us there. Now I have to think about maybe to take us there and then somehow sneak by and try to grab a high-quality version of this one. Level 3 we want. Oh, just a simple firebell might be doing the trick, but I believe that I'm going to be touching that uh, swampy bit. Oh, yes. Yep, okay. Well... Uh, we made it this far. Let's see how we get there. Do we have something that shapes us around this way? There's just nothing in here that I could use that doesn't kill us or lead us the wrong way. So another fire bell it is. All right, uh, there we are. And now, do would that kill us? Probably. I think I just need to brute force it at this point. This is a very peculiar spot we are in just stuck in the swamp look at this but now at least we're kind of free freed oh being in the swamp here has an interesting effect because it will shrink the size of the starting path and that come back Harry banana that might lead us right behind that effect I think I'm going to try this let's see if it pans out so we throw that in and this should come up quite a bit come on no, oh, it didn't come quite up the whole way, though. Um, but this could still work out. Can we get a level 3 here? Oh, there's the other effect, yeah? Behind that massive swamp. If we ladle just a little bit. Uh, was that the right thing to do? I think this is a level 3, isn't it? Yeah, just about. No. Are you kidding me? Come on. No! <laughs> wow, okay. We got shafted. 
Okay, well, I throw in a terabud then. <sighs> yeah, that hurts. Nope, not there. So now we can properly align. That was a, a, a good thought there, Kira, but um, it didn't quite pan out as you had planned, did it? No. No. Alright, but here we go. And we just need to have one pixel more in height to get the level 4 potion. I think that is pretty much spot on. There. Ah, oh, beautiful. Gonna fire this one up. There we have the strong potion of frost protection. And for now, I guess we can save the recipe. Can always remake it later on. This was a, was a weak path to take though. So all the way over there to the enlargement we go. Uh, there is a better path available there. Much better. Quite efficient, actually. So Dragon Pepper it is. Gets us nicely in place for something to follow on. Let's see what that would be. Hmm. Ah, uh, that one doesn't quite work. Need to come in, well, from here. From right there. The lava route could work, but um, let's first get there. Oh, I could actually take the the mushroom because I'm stuck in the in the swamp right now, so that will just ever so slightly take us away from this wall. Famous last words. No, it did. Perfect. All right, there you go. And then a lust mushroom that is also getting stuck in the swamp. There we go, but we're out of there. Good. Grasping roots to take us up a little more. There. I think we take another grasping roots and just put us in a good spot over here. And then we see that the map is ending over there as well. One quite inter interesting thing that I, I'm noticing here while playing is that it takes me a fair amount of time to just figure out which one of the numerous components that somehow go in this direction are an option. And I was thinking about if that is a good thing or not. And it stems from the fact that they have added so many new components that it's quite difficult to, um, well, to limit it down to just one or two, which was naturally occurring previously. And that simplified gameplay, it made it less complex overall, or well, not really less complex, it's just a little less tedious. And I was wondering, is there a cure to that kind of tediousness that has emerged from the fact that there are so many new components? Because what I find myself doing is like, ah, no, then this, no, it doesn't quite work, and then this, yeah, it does work, but I have to few, and this, and this, and this, and this, and no, this, no, and then there are all kinds of other components here that are somewhat going in that direction that are not easily to easy to find by the filters. And I, I think I just came up with something that could be useful. And that is the following. Um, so, if you are in the process of making a potion like this and you click a spot on the map with a maybe hold down or just like right click that could do and you get the um, your ingredients sorted by which ingredients have their path closest to that point that would be an interesting thing so it sorts them and then you see like, ah, yeah, mm -hmm, uh, these are the candidates and um, yeah, I, I guess that, that would work. On the other hand, you could argue that, but that takes away a little bit of the skill as well, does it? Or does it not? I'm unsure. Um, I would love to hear what you have to, to say about that though. I think it's a pretty smart solution for a little bit of a clusterfuck of ingredients. That, that, those are a lot of ingredients. So finally, I've settled for the wiggly dee wiggly dee do sulfur shelf and hope that it doesn't touch that nasty swamp. Here we go. And it didn't. No. Good. Ah, the banana. Yeah. 
Let's let's try that one. See if it ha does the trick. I'm touching the the swamp as well, so that's not great. Let's hope we get out of there. Uh oh. Uh yes, we do. That was good stuff. All right. Let's see what we have here. I think this is pretty much perfectly aligned. Let's see where we end up. Um. Yeah, not quite there, Kill Rob. Not quite. You have to be a bit better than this. There, now, nah, we're a little low. Fix that up, please. Ah, oh, ah, oh, beautiful. It is so pretty. It is perfect. The perfect level 4 enlargement potion for the tiniest of Epines. And it is, indeed, the strong potion of enlargement, so let's save that recipe. It was reasonably efficient to get here. But after having so much fun, well, I think what we should do is actually take a look at what cost- Oh! The Traveling Merchant! It has been a while, good sir! Yes, don't, don't have that funny look on you. You've been traveling far and wide and not to my place. I'm a little um, disappointed in you. Yes. So show me your goods. You what, mate? You you were known for having like crazy amounts of shit. And right now you only have shit. So that that is like not good enough. What a wasted mer um, time time merchant time here. Like you could have sold me tons of stuff. But yeah, okay. Let's haggle de do this one. First haggle of the day is very successful indeed. 240. Oh, warrior. Uh, I need to oil a gate to make it stop squeaking. Um. Okay. Uh, what? What kind of stuff did we have there? <laughs> there was one of those effects. Uh, I think it was on the water map that we, where we discovered that. But what was it? Ah, oh, there, grease. Right. That, that was. Was it this one? Or was that glue or something? Let's see if we have something in our inventory. A uh, weak potion of gluing, so that is definitely not what, what that person wants. I am just going through the effects just to see what would fit. Like hallucination, luck and curse, nope, nope, nope. Fragrance, inspiration, fear, nope, nope, nope. We have protection, anti-magic, shrinking, enlargement, rejuvenation, no, all no's, no stench, slipperiness, there it is. Okay, where was slipperiness? It must be pretty close, because it's just a 500. Oh, that one probably. That looks like a, an oil can. Um, so we are expecting it on the oil map to be, well, this general direction, mostly sideways. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, it could be there. That would make sense for it to be pretty close. Should be accessible enough. Let's see. So just a good berry down. And then we throw in... Nah. Maybe not that. Uh, it's also... Oh, no, it's not going to take us too far because we are swamp, swamped there for quite a, quite a while. But I want to get over here and then up. Looks like good berries are just a little too good. Uh, always useful. So let's throw that one in there. Ah, and now the cold leaf. That is perfect. Let's get over there. And I think the spell bloom does the trick. Yeah, you can just warp around a little bit and then uh, not die on this wall, hopefully. Get behind here and that should leave us behind that one. Is that correct? I'm going to try it out. Let's see if that's working. I also don't know where this one takes us. Um, do I really want to try it that extremely? Like that looks dangerous. If we go like through there, that that is a lot of death. So now let's stir a little bit more and now fire it up. That should be a little safer. Not safe, but a little safer. He said. <laughs> okay. Well, that, that was on the edge. So now I go out a little more. Like this. And then puff 
this thing up some more. Come on, please. Please, please. That is behind it, right? That that makes the path go behind it. I hope. Okay, let's see. Yeah, it does. Okay, we're saved. There, we already have the level three. A few drops in there. Yes. But we're too low, Carob. Too low. It's not good enough. There. Oh, ah, now we're a little bit too high. But let's center it at least. Oh, yeah. It's almost perfect. It's like one pixel to too far to the top and to the left. I think that's still good enough for a level 3.7 potion. Uh, let's poof it up. Ah, there we have it. Slipperiness. Save the recipe. That was rather efficient. And finish the potion. So, here you go. And where do we have it? There. Yeah, 480. Not too bad. Um, can sell it. Okay, foul smelling potion to scare off predators. A s potion of stinkiness. Uh, I know we had something in there. Oh, yeah. Lightning protection and stench. Should we just try to sell him this potion? I mean, it has a stronger point of lightning protection, but then uh, they will be complaining about side effects that aren't too nice. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. I buy this potion. Yeah, that's that's fine. You, you can have it. Oh, wow. What a... What a strange request. It's so normal. You don't want to be smelly? Strong potion of mana, brew this thing, and throw it on here, sell it, all good. Ooh, I need only your strongest potions. Um, okay, I need poison, so I can poison rats. What size are the rats that we're talking about? Mm, Human-sized, maybe? Anyway, yeah, you have it. Uh, that is the strongest, yes. And Shroomy is here! Hello, Shroomy! How are you do- Ah, oh, you need your- Your weird-ass potion again. Alright. Dexterity! Well, we do have enough uh, ingredients for this stuff, so, um, yeah, just brew him this potion. So he can upgrade his inventory again. There you have it, good sir. You- you still need to see the level of this, where you are at at the moment. So, give him that, and show me your goods. Uh, wow. We do need them. They are way too expensive. Goblin shrooms, yeah. Yeah, everything that is on sale. Oh, mushrooms. Oh! We were out of these, weren't we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, shadow cantrels. Only six of them. Let's um, at least buy so that we have a few more. That's fine. Weird Shroom's 80, not needed. Poop Shroom, oh. That kind of shroom. Yeah, we we only have a sample here. <laughs> we got we got one of your samples here, good sir. <laughs> and I'm going to haggle this one down. And here we go. This is an easy one. Yep, that's all good. And it's a deal. Oh, new round of customers. Oh no. Ah, it would have been it would have been paying handsomely. No, not really, because it wasn't the strongest of potions, but uh power of lightning. Oh no, not lightning lightning protection with a little bit of a side effect. The item would have been smelly for all eternity. <laughs> the stink hammer. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we can we can provide uh, that. And oh, we got wind bloom problems, don't we? Yeah, let's um, not use that and just make a lightning potion like we did in the old ways. There, there it is, old times rather. So we go up there with the spell bloom because spell blooms are friggin' amazing. At that reach and that di direction is just so good. And now, straight up with a... Ooh, that's that's taking us really close. It might be enough even. We only are going to die twice. 
That's that's good. Is this the most efficient combination uh, with which you can make a lightning potion? Let's see. So we throw that in there and now hopefully don't mess up. So we need to be a little vigilant. We are touching it here already. Oh, oh yeah, but then we can easily make this one, can't we? Um, how do we do that? We need to kill sideways motion. So I'm going to go over here. No, that was the, the wrong kind of sideways motion being killed. Um, nah, that doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We can uh, we can just uh, wing it from here, like like this, and we can go down and repeat and go around a bit until it fits. Um, yeah, it doesn't fit quite yet. Ah, it's getting better. It's getting better. But maybe I just messed it all up. That's very possible. So I go back here. Get that sideways motion out again. And now... Can I move behind there? I think the chances are pretty solid that that will succeed. That is beyond halfway, isn't it? There we are very safely beyond halfway. So not the... Not the most elegant way of making this happen. But it did work. So we have to go all the way behind here. Then align it and bring it back. So let's bring it back a little bit first. And there it is. Not too shabby. Just correct for a minor sideways amount. And one more up. Yes, not perfect. Slightly too low, but we're good. So I think that is with just two ingredients that is really damn good. So we're going to save that recipe. Oh yeah, look at that. Four wind blooms, one tangleweed and one shadow cantaril. Now we're just doing it with two components. Now we are going to nuke this recipe. And just switched it out versus our new one. There we have it. So lightning potion it is. <gasps> wow! 645. Oh, I need a potion to make me look younger. What? Maybe a shrinking potion or something? Um, not entirely sure. That calls for some exploration. Where do we get that? Over here? Oh, <laughs> that, that could work. That could work quite well. Kraken mushroom, throw that in. Look at this. Going to do something fancy. Like this. Up oh, there it turns around. Throw that in. Go around here a little bit. Then touch the whirlpool. Come on. Come on, touch it already. There you go. Now fire it up. And we teleport through here. And look at this. <laughs> Whee, perfect. And wow. Another perfect one. Look at this shape, just perfect fit. All the way around here. Ooh, now I have to make sure though, wait a sec. I have to make sure that the next one takes us behind that effect. But yeah, I guess we could just throw in two of these cold leaves and that should accomplish the task. There's another effect over there. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know which one is shrinking and what, what this would be. Ah, Tangleweed does the trick. That's good. Ooh, touched the swamp. It moved, but it didn't destroy anything. So there we go. And the level three. Move about a little bit so that it becomes nice and tidy. One more drop, please. One more drop. There. No, still isn't good enough. Oh, is it? No. There. Yeah, okay, now it's getting there. Perfect. That's a level 4 potion. Fire it up. What do we have here? Oh, fire protection. That's not what we were looking for, but it was a good way of getting there, so save it and finish. So I guess we go there once more. Just go past this, uh, this node this time around. See what is in... Where did I see it? There. There's another line. And round and round we go. Same thing as before. 
And here I can now use the rocket man of um, the water direction, the water cap. And there's the effect. So how do we get there? That looks like a kind of life leaf, I believe. <laughs> here, here is our oh, good berry would work. That's not quite right. Well, yeah, it does does look like it. That would work. But how do we get over there then? Oh, finally a use case for this one, I believe. Yeah, look at that. That gets us around. Hopefully we don't die and then end up somewhere there. And don't I? Yep, no, that was fine. And the good berry. Of course the good berry. Might have overshot a little bit with that one as I try to align the lines. No, I didn't. I'm still a little high. It's good. Let's go further. You need to make this perfect. Look at this. Just a tiny stir there. Oh, yes. It's perfect. And here we fire it up. What is it? Shrinking! There we found it. Save the recipe, finish the potion. So is that what you want? That is my question. No. no. Okay. Um, hmm. What else could it be? Oh, maybe a potion of rejuvenation, right? Yeah, that could be. Was it this apple thing here? Could could have been. Um, it fits the general trend because this is the direction of wild growth and all that. So that one is probably not the one, but this one, right? Yeah. But along the way, we probably should check out what this is and where this leads. A healer's heather is being ground up to take us uh, there. Then... Uh, it's not that far to go from there. Oh, wow. Healer's Heather does the trick for everything. Yeah, let's try to just throw in another one. See where this gets us. Maybe it's in good berry range at that point. Whee! Oh, yep, might be. Nah, that does the loop-de-loop -loop in the swamp. That's not what we want. It is the gold fawn. I think that might even do the trick for getting back into the whirlpool there for us to check out what um, where this one takes us. Oh, okay, now I have to think with my tired little brain. I am at the whirlpool. What I do want to accomplish is be at a trajectory where I can ladle back to grab a level 3 effect of whatever this is and then have the rest of the trajectory be such that I can get back into here. I think that means I need to go through here a little bit and then go down this way. It gets me back a little. Yeah, I think that should do the trick, right? Something like this. Yeah, okay, that should be good. And there you have the level 3. Level 4? Uh, no, not quite. Slightly too high. But um, still good. And does exactly what we wanted, apart from it not being the correct effect, of course. But uh, minor details. So now we just spin it around... Grab that experience and poof the potion again to see where this one leads. Oh, okay, back. Uh, oh, well, right. Grab those and um, ah, shit! I should have, I should have saved that beforehand. But anyway, finish the potion. But it looks like, from a timing point of view, we are kind of stuck here. <laughs> For this episode at least. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.